So for our second signature, we're going to be using Chiobella, Chiobella's Sparkling Christmas. This is another beautiful collection. So this is the, the, the basic books um, book. So we're going to pick these, well, I picked these six um, panels. So it's going to start with this one is going to be our front. And then it's going to open to this. And then, let's see if we can get it all in. And then this. This is going to be our center, so we'll be putting in an envelope here. And then this. And then the last page is going to be this. So for our, this, where am I? So for this middle section right here, we're going to start with this middle section. Um, so these don't matter. I don't have to worry about the pattern there. Don't have to worry about the pattern there. The only thing we have to worry about a little bit is this one. This one's going to be easy. You're just going to measure six and a half inches from this edge, and then you're going to cut it here. And then ma ma make sure you save your pieces because we're going to be using either this one or this one for the hinge. So six and a half inches, cut it here. This one, six and a half inches, cut it there. So that one's going to be easy. So now we're going to cut this page. So this one, um, let's start with this one first. So this one, you're going to measure one and one quarter inches in on this end. So that way we preserve the three stockings and then a quarter of an inch on this side. So that will give you the one and a half inches you need to cut off. And then on this one, where, where I marked it? Where did I mark it? You're measuring three quarters. Is that what I did? Three quarters of an inch in. You're measuring three quarters of an inch in on this side. Because we want to make sure we keep that 25 right there. And then you'll measure three quarters of an inch on this side. So it'll be about right here. So you're just taking three quarters of an inch off of each end on here. Back side doesn't matter. Back side doesn't matter on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do my cuts. So on this page, you are going to simply measure um, one and a half inches here. So cut it straight down here. So that will give you your six and a half inch sheet here. And on this one, you're going to be measuring three quarters of an inch on this side. So you'll be right at this line here, this gold line, three quarters of an inch here, and then three quarters of an inch here. And that will give you your six and a half inch centered sheet. So our pages are all cut. So front page opens to this, then this. This is going to be our center. Have a, a, a envelope in here to cover up our string again. This. And this is our last page here. And it ends like that. So now we're going to be making our little hinges for each of these pages. Let's start again with this center one. So this one should be easy. We're just going to be you cut this in a one inch strip and we're going to be putting it down here. So this, this goes nicely with this. So one inch strip, center it and make your hinge just like we did with the other one. So I have my piece, 
my hinge cut, scored, and inked down the center. So remember, it's going to go like this. And we flip it over. And this is where we're going to be adhering them. So where'd it go? So it's going to be adhered. Get this tape out. Like here. Just make sure you ink that edge part so it gives you a good guideline where to put your paper there and there. Oops, and I am going to ink the edges here too. Um, I should have done that on the other ones. I think I forgot to do it, but I'm going to ink the edges on here too before I put it down. And also on this this strip, I I I kind of went over with my um, this all the way down just to tap out some of the white so it doesn't stand out so much with this piece, and it blends in real nice with this piece right back here. So that looks really really good. So I'm just gonna pull my score tape, and we'll be done with this this hinge. So we have this hinge in. So put that aside. And next, oops, which one am I doing next? This last. So now we're going to do this one. So let's see, what should we use for this one? Where's our cutoffs from this one? So what I think I'm going to do is use this guy um, that's on the other side. This piece, nope, so I'm going to use this guy. How about on this side? Nope, okay, so we're going to use this one. So I'm going to cut this into a one inch strip, score it uh, down the middle, and then we'll be putting it like this on this to join these two together. So this spine is going to be joining these two together here. So I'm going to lift this up and turn it over. Bye -bye. And then I got my tape on this side. So it's going to be like that and like that. Once again, I need to ink here and here, and then I'm going to be I'm going to turn it over and got my tape on. I'm going to go ahead and ink here and here and put these on. So I got to my hinge um, ready inked it, put my tape on. So this is going to go like this. So I'm going to get my pages, flip them around like this. This one I've already inked. I just need to ink this side here. Okay, so these are going to go like this. So I can remove my this here and I can apply these so I'm going to put these on and I pull my tape and I'll put those on so this one is done looks so pretty oh. So put that aside. Now we have this one to do. So let's see what, which one should we do? I'm thinking this. There's, what's the other side?
Nope, that won't work. Mm, I don't like that either. Okay, so it's going to be this piece. Cut it, same thing, one inch, square to half an inch, ink it, and then we will be putting it here and flipping this over. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I have inks, the, the edges inked, got my piece cut, inked, inked everything, the inner spines. So this is gonna go like this. So I am going to pull this over so I don't get myself messed up. And then these are going to go, oh, I forgot to put my, my tape in there. Oh. Anyway, I'll put my tape in there. These are going to go right in here. So I'm going to put my tape in and then we'll be done with the hinges. So we have all our hinges in our book now. That one goes there. This one goes like this. This is our center. So it's like this. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so next we're going to do the same thing like we did with the other one. We're going to find an envelope here so we can cover up our string. It doesn't have to be an envelope. You can you can use like like a journal page too as long as it's um, open and then you can close it like this. That'd be fine too. So I have uh, another papyrus. It's a little darker silver. The gold just kind of got washed out. So I think I'll just do this, do the same thing. I'm gonna close this off and then cut my, cut this on three ends to have a little pocket. So I got my second um, envelope made, just like we made this, our first one over on this first signature. I'm gonna try something else on this too. Um, I just want it to pop a little bit more. So I found the center right here. I'm gonna bring in my circle punch. This is one and one quarter. Go right in the center. And I'm just going to punch it about there. Not much. And I just wanted to see if it would look a little bit different. It might. It's just something to try. So let me move this. So I just want it a little bit more oomph. And that gives it a little bit more oomph. So I'm going to leave this one this way and do this one this way. So next we're going to put in, let's see what, this sheet. So um, we go to get ours put together. So this is going to go here. The front page, we're going to have a sheet. Gonna fold it about there. Oh, that looks kind of plain. I'll have to do some decoration on this. It's kind
kind of plain there. So I fold that. to trim this down this is eight and a half inches high so I'm going to trim it down to eight inches so instead of using the glycine bag I have this in my stash left over from another project it's American crafts um, vellum gold metallic and it measures, and I, this is just a scrap I have left. It is six inches tall by 11 inches long. And I just folded it right in half. And then um, I made a mark here at about one inch here. I'm going to score that, and that's going to be sitting, going under here. So we're going to be left with a pocket like this. So you can just see where the pocket is. And I used a paper punch to punch a little notch out. So what we're going to do, I cut this out from this paper from this collection, this Geobella collection. I just cut a one inch strip and that's going to go right over that punched part right here. You can't see the punched part because it's too hard to see but it's going to go like that to reinforce. It's going to go like this to reinforce that punch. So that's going to go on the front. On the inside this is one of your cut-aparts that was left over from when you were trimming your, your booklets, your little pages. This is going to be sitting inside on this back edge here. And it's going to be adhered to the back side. I'm going to ink it and adhere it to the back side so that will give us this little divot right there so you can see it and then this will go in the front like this so you're going to have this pocket right right in here so you're going to make this a pocket right here since it's folded here we don't need to secure this part this is already closed we're going to put some score tape and close off the bottom here. I've never done this before, so let's see if this will work. So first thing I'm going to do is glue this back piece on the inside of the vellum here. Ink it, and I'm not going to glue it. I'm going to use some score tape and fix it back here. So I have this back piece on, it's three quarters of an inch, that's what we cut off. This front piece, this is a one inch strip. So I just followed that circle, half circle there, and ew, this is way too long, I need to trim it. But this is going to go on the front, and the way that's the way I put my score tape, so it's just kind of all score tape. So I scored it at the one inch mark here. I tried to put it in here. This was just too bulky with these two um, pieces of, of designer paper. So what I did is I just cut out the paper. I just made a little notch there. So you can see where I just cut it out. So now it's going to go in like, it's gonna be sewn in there. And then this will just swing over like this. So I didn't do a very good job of cutting, but I still think it 
it looks nice. So I ink the edges and I'm just going to put um, a little bit of glue in between those to close off this top pocket. And then we will have a place to put um, a card or something in here and you will be able to see see through it so let me see if i got like this one so you have a card like this and you can actually see through it so that might be pretty so that's going to go here fold that over and what else did i have i had a bag and i have this paper, this paper, and I think that's it. So <clears throat> I'm going to get these all put together and then sew them. So this is what we have. Our front cover. Open it. You have this, you can't feel it, but this is nice textured paper. It's got a nice, it feels really nice. It's such a pretty paper. Then here, here. So here's our little flap from the vellum um, that we just made and probably put a, journaling page to write on here. So this will be here. And then we have this, this, and we have our envelope. So we're going to be sewing, uh, sewing that in here and then we'll close it up. Then we have our vellum pocket here. And then where then we have this white um, paper again, and then we have our back sheet and then the back cover. So I'm going to get them all clipped and ready to sew.